Okay, so it looks like a great film. Tell us, what was your favorite scene shooting? Um, any scene where I got kissed. By the lovely Miss Blythe Danner? Yes. I hear you had great chemistry with her. What was it like working together? Well, it was, she was in my first play, and this was kind of like closure 30 years later. And uh, she was, is as beautiful now as she was then and could make me speechless easily. And she's the most oh, oh, underused great actress in America. Nice words to say about your co-star. True. So this is a love story about second chances. Do you believe in second chances with love? Yes, I believe that I don't know anything about what happens after you're dead, but before you're dead, in your one lifetime, you live a lot of lifetimes. And if you're smart enough to scrutinize it, it's like a, it's kind of like a canard round the world trip all in one lifetime. How are you most like your character in the film? I'm not as good looking. Um, how am I like him? If at all. There was an ad line on the film that said, do you remember the time when an oath meant something? And I wrote that line because that time seems like a long time ago. It's not. And an oath meant something then and means nothing now. And if we don't take care of that, we're going to lose this whole country. And speaking with the director, he said he likes to bring back these old romantic love stories. What do you think about that? Do you think we need more of that instead of these action-packed thrillers and all the CGI and all of that? I think uh, there's some kid probably not yet born who knows how to turn all those science gadgets into something meaningful. But so far they've been misused. And a great story is a great story. And stories about romantic love when people are 60 years old are rare and far more interesting than, you know, high school prom stories. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. We look forward to seeing the film. Thank you.